close your eyes close your eyes just humor me humor me listen to me um if you can't close your eyes imagine because if you're driving and things like that i don't know why you're watching youtube if you're driving but just close your eyes if you can just 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 for a minute okay it's the morning and the sun is waking you up it's springtime in south africa so that means that it's nice and warm you know short sleeves but it's the morning so there's this nice cool breeze it's the morning and you're in a bed and you wake up and your head is on a uber plush comfortable pillowcase right and this pillowcase is white and ivory white and you can see the threading on the pillowcase is very tightly thread and it's very thick but it feels very plush it almost feels like velvet but it's not it's a, it's, it's a very beautiful type of cotton you move your legs and you feel that oh the sheets that you're sleeping in they have that same beautiful plush thickness but it's not velvet it feels like velvet but at the same time it's not heavy it's a nice lightness that doesn't make you hot and on top of those sheets there is this duvet and this duvet is beautiful and it's light and it's it's fluffy and it makes you just feel like you're hugged so you spread your arms out and you spread your legs out and you open your eyes you, you lie on your back and you open your eyes and you see this this chandelier which has hanging droplets they look like little droplets of rain there's about 12 of them it's not a big chandelier it's just you know a nice little light fixture 12 droplets that are hanging in each droplet there's a little light in the inside so it looks like crystal droppings little droplets they look like rain and inside they have this beautiful white light in them and the white light is on but it's slightly dimmed it's a beautiful bright day so the sun is already shining in the room and that's what woke you up you got you got woken up by the fact that the day has already started but it's still very early it's about 6 a.m in the morning but you can already feel the sun is starting to really shine in the day so you feel the sheets on your left and your right arm and you push against the sheets and you sit up and as you sit up you see your curtain veils so the main curtains are open all you see is the veil the lace that's in the inside and through the lace you can see the ocean over your balcony it's the the curtains the lace is in front of a sliding door and outside of the sliding door there's a balcony and beyond the balcony there's the shoreline and you sit there and you breathe in and it just smells fresh I'm gonna try, gonna try. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Anko Banishimange, and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as advice or use it as entertainment. Use it, don't use it, do what you will with it. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now if you have not noticed, it's a motivation Monday, so I think you should just stretch your necks, you know, just exercise the necks because darlings, and, and make sure that you move all the hair from your neck because today, coming for your necks coming for your necks because i'm tired of this nonsense in the comment section i'm tired of this nonsense on my instagram i'm tired of this nonsense in my dms about being scared to chase your dreams about being scared to dream big about nye, nye, nye. listen i'm here to tell you something that is an absolute fact in life where you are right now in your life you're broke you're not finishing your degree you you are working in a job that you don't like you don't have enough money to go buy the things that you want you want a five thousand rand wig but you can't afford it. it's your fault my darling everything is your fault you want to try and blame it on your parents you want to try and blame it on your circumstances please shut up because i can tell you right now there's somebody who's been a worse off position than you who is in a better position than you who's got more money who's got less stress who is achieving her dreams, who is married to the man that she wants. She's got all the wigs and the weaves that she wants because she went for it. Unlike you crying around, me, 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 I'm scared. Aha, I'm tired of you guys. So today I'm making a video, a motivation Monday about how to dream and how to actually achieve your dreams. Because this whole thing about 
I'm scared to do things. I'm scared to dream big. It's a bunch of nonsense. And I'll tell you why it's a bunch of nonsense. I'll tell you how to overcome that nonsense and what you can do to move past that, to actually dream big and to actually from tomorrow, actually from today, once you finish watching this video, to start acting in ways that are completely going to change your life. Change it like that. I'm going to show you. All right, so if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram at Kopane Shimange and look for this picture right here. It is in my Insta story highlights. All you have to do is go to at Kopane Shimange on my profile page. There's a little circle that says how I do things. Click on that circle, reply, and you can ask me whatever question that you have for me or send me your comments and comment down below with any video ideas or questions that you may have. But this one is, is not requested, but you guys talk about it all the time. So I was like, let's target this face first head on, hit the hammer on the nail. Let's make it happen. Let's do this video about how to dream and how to actually achieve those dreams. Number one is a belief that I have that many of us are dreaming way too small. Your dream is small. And that's, not, that's re the reason why we're not achieving much in our lives. So people have dreams like, I just want to finish my degree. I want to be able to earn 50K or 100K a month. I want to have 100,000 subscribers on, on YouTube. Actually, that's even, that's a big number for many of you. All of, some of you are just like, I just want to have 2,000. What? You can't be aiming for peanuts in life. You can't. You need to dream much bigger than that. You need to multiply your dreams by 10, minimum by 10. Because you think of, I want to get a degree. What is the consequence of you having a degree? A job is not, quali is not, is not guaranteed if you have a degree. You having a car, a house, having a good salary is not guaranteed when you have a degree. However, if your dream is that I want to become the top leading chemical engineer in my field, right? At this point, how no degree? There's no degree. But in order for you to become the top and leading engineer, chemical engineer, in your specific niche or field, then a degree precedes that. It is a given. It is, it is given that you must have a degree to become a chemical engineer, right? And for you to be the top chemical engineer, that means that you must have a job, right? It means that you must have achieved something. So then when you dream, you're no longer thinking about the degree, you're not thinking about the job, you're not thinking about the car, you're not thinking about the house. You're thinking about what does my life look like as the top engineer, chemical engineer in my field. So this just leads me to point number two, which is that you need to dream in texture. Give it detail. You have to feel as though you already have it. You're touching it, you're feeling it. It is in you, it's there already. And when you don't work towards it, you need to feel the anxiety, you need to feel the fear, you need to feel the absolute disappointment of losing it. it. It's different when you have a diamond ring and then you lose it. Can you imagine the feeling of losing it? That's how you should feel about losing the dream that you're working towards. But you guys dream too small. You haven't done that. You don't know the texture of your dream. You don't, you don't know how it smells, you don't know how it feels. You don't know how it feels when that wind slaps your face. You don't know how cold it is in the mornings when you wake up in your dream house. You don't know it. Therefore, it's okay, you can lose it. You don't, you don't own it. You don't own your dream. You don't have the texture. You don't feel it. Time is just an illusion. And what they mean by that is that through your imagination, you can live in a moment which is 10 to 15 years ahead of you. And when you do that, you realize that in order for me to reach that place, I need to do something today to, walk, to work towards that trajectory. And if you don't, you live a life below that and you lose it. You already own your dream, but you lose it when you don't work for it. Number three is that you need to make a choice to stop struggling. It's a choice. I've, I've actually heard this and I've studied so many successful people. And this is not just from a monetary point of view, is that they made a decision. They just made a decision. They just woke up and they said, Ek is hot for. I don't want this anymore. I am enough. I will never ever struggle ever again. I will not be broke. 
I will not be unhappy at my workplace ever again. I will never let anybody make me unhappy doing the work that I am doing. That's a decision that I made. And honestly, I don't, people don't make me unhappy. And if they do, I block them, I get rid of them. I have the freedom of choice to do so. People make a decision to stop. People make a decision to be rich. People make a decision to stop being broke. People make a decision. They make a decision. It's a choice. It really is a choice. In life, we are either making a choice or making an excuse. A lot of us are just like, you know what? I didn't choose to be born this way or I didn't choose to have these struggles or, you know, there's so many things going on at home or, you know, I, I didn't get the education that other people got. Somebody else has been in a worse off position than you. And right now, today, they are eating more than you. They've got more than you. They are happier than you because they made a decision to do something else. You saying that I don't have the education for this. You saying that I don't have the money to start this business. You saying things such as, you know, I grew up in a place like this and you know, all of those things are making it difficult for me. Or you, you are just making excuses. There are people who have been in a worse off position than you. I can guarantee it. And right now they're in a much better position than you because they decided to make a choice instead of making an excuse. Number four is the thing that's actually going to help you to start moving today. And the thing that maybe, not even maybe, I know this, a lot of people are just like, you know, my dream is so big, I don't even know where to start. So I just wake up in the morning and do nothing. You want the dream that you have, you want it. But you are being stopped by the fact that you are scared or you don't know what to do. Biggest bunch of bull I've ever heard in my life. Here's the thing, progress is progress no matter how big or how small. We wake up in the morning and um, you're just like, I've got zero subscribers and I want a million subscribers. But I don't know what to do to get there. Because in your head, you're thinking to yourself, what one video can I do that's going to make me go from zero to one million? That's not how it works. It's not. If God told you that I'll give you 100 subscribers per video that you upload. And that means that you're going to have to make many thousands of videos. But you will get there. In three years time, you posting one video every day for three years, you'll get to your million. How much will your life change because of that? And let me tell you something about dreams. It doesn't work that way. You start with one video, we'll give you, we'll give you 10 subscribers. Then three months later, one video will give you 100 subscribers. Three months later, one video will give you 1,000 subscribers. Then after that, you're at a point where every video gets you 10,000 subscribers. Your, every time you step closer to your dream, your dream takes a step closer to you. And number five is a fundamental belief that our dreams are things that have been given and inspired by our creator. You need to feel it, believe it, and always have it with us because it is something that has been divinely inspired in us. Every single person has a different dream. It's just that people with certain dreams are more vocal than others, but everybody has a certain dream and everybody's dream is different. And every time we wake up and we ask God, God, what is it that you want for me today? I'm going to do what I have. What I'm going to do my best with what I have today. And if you want me to move in a different direction, please do let me. I give my day over to you. Every single day when we do that, we become guided and we see things that are in front of us. And when we decide to choose faith over fear, and we go after the things that are in front of us. When we act on the inspiration that God gives us every single day, we then start to move towards the dreams that have been placed in us. And what I mean by feel it all the time is all day long. All I do is I think about the consequences of my dream. I think about, would I be washing the dishes if I had a million subscribers? Would I have a dishwasher? Or would I have somebody washing the dishes for me? I think about those things all day. I think about, Right now, I'm sitting eating this lunch. What type of lunch would I eat if I had a million subscribers? I think about those things all the time. So you need to constantly think about the consequences of your dream all day. Because that is the thing that's going to help you find alignment and think to yourself, is the decision moving me closer to that dream or is it moving me further away from that dream? You need to believe it because it, the dreams and the visions that we have have been given to us. That is a fact. They do not come from us. They come from above us. And every single morning when we wake up and we hand them over to the person who gave it to us, to the being who gave it to us, we only magnify them and make them bigger. And there's a purpose in us chasing that dream. Whether the purpose is for us to reach that dream or whether the purpose is for us to only chase it in order for us to find the next dream, only God knows. 
but we can only get that and only discover that and only get a little piece of that understanding if we wake up and we choose to chase those those dreams those visions that god has given us all right i came for you guys i really came for you guys today i apologize I apologize my darling, I apologize. I didn't mean to be angry at you. I didn't mean to come for you, but I had to, I woke up and God was just like, tell them my child, tell them. So I told you, God, I told them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys are feeling about this Motivation Monday. I'll be coming for you guys again. If God tells me in the morning, go, go, go get them, they forgot, tell them again. I will come and I will tell you again, I am only a servant and I'm doing what has been inspired of me to do. If I am wrong, God will correct me in the future. But anywho, until later days, beautiful people, I hope that you guys have, just have subscribed to my channel and I hope that you'll be back for more because we're here every single day, 7.30 South African time with a live premiere and a live chat. But for everybody who's been joining me in the morning party, good morning and I love you all. Until next time, beautiful people, I'm Kapanish Shemang and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, I hope that you're recovering from me coming for your neck. <laughs> but thank you so much for supporting how I do things and thank you so much for helping the channel grow. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. I see your comments and I reply to as many as I can and I really do appreciate you. Now if you want to know more about the journal, the journey that I'm going through to create it, and if you want to subscribe so that you can find out more about it as soon as it launches, then here is my website address www.kopanishmange.com. But if you're not subscribed and you're here and you're not here for the first time, then darling, what are you waiting for? Click on my face right here and that will help you to subscribe and make sure you switch on your notification bell so that you know when a new video has been uploaded. But enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time. <laughs>